Well, we have been sounding the alarm for many years. Uh, the nursing shortage has got increasingly worse, of course, on top of the, with the pandemic. So we are saying that um, let's utilize what we currently have to its full capacity. Let us do all we can to support nurses, to value them, to uh, give them fair compensation. That's what we're asking for. We're asking for fair workloads, um, supportive workloads, and a place where uh, nurses in this province can develop their career. You know, we have a, a document called um, Career Pathways, and we know that they are PSWs who may want to work towards being a, a RPN. Uh, we have RNs that want to go on to be nurse practitioners, and our nurse practitioners are very, very important because they can help provide access to care. They have the education and knowledge to do this. So we have uh, career pathways that will help people in Ontario. The nurses stay. They, don't, they won't be uh, kind of detracted by agencies who are offering just short-term plans. We don't blame the nurses for going to agencies. They're trying to earn a fair wage. But we know that the best way is to have uh, supports and uh, compensation where they can build their careers and have all the benefits that comes with that full-time employment. So one of RNEO's ideas is actually to have internationally trained nurses, uh, which locally there hasn't been a lot of engagement or outreach for that. Uh, I would say that was one of the biggest things. A lot of retention in keeping the nurses here is incentives, what incentives can we provide um, that maybe other facilities or other organizations are not able to do. So already RNEO has done a lot of work behind this. We've uh, worked with CNO, with RNEO, with uh, Dr. Doris Grinspun and Dr. Claudette Holloway, who've been able to advocate um, for internationally trained nurses to um, be fast-tracked through the CNO, the College of Nurses of Ontario, to get them practicing sooner.